strong visually, Eric. Good. Thank you. Good. Okay, Eric went right into the thing. Good. All right, really good stuff, Eric, all the way around. Thank you. Maybe not that one, but the other ones. We already got that guy in the end of the picture, right? That's good. All right, good. All good. I mean, I take a couple of those out, but uh, I don't even know what your story is, but it kind of doesn't matter. If somebody, you know, we can figure that out, but I, I would keep this one. That one doesn't look so great compared to these two. Which one of those do you think is better? Uh, I choose that one. Yeah. Why, do, why do you prefer that one? The one on the top right? Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, you know, just, just look at it. I mean, this is really good, and I would really, really like it, but somehow, you know, this pops out. The is pretty good. Yeah, the light's fresh. Yeah. You know. Something in his eye. Yeah, something in his eye. Yeah. This, this, this is a little screwed up back here. Like this picture, like this picture, uh, and like this picture, mm. and that picture. What, by the way, what is this? For? Is this just a bar? Um, yeah, I, well, actually, <laughs> um, the, this, the, the first guy, mm -hmm. uh, that's Kyle. He's actually one of, he's, my, um, he's one of the scholarship students. So he's actually doing the workshop with Constantine next door. Uh, other guy is Carl, is my buddy. He's also doing the workshop. They're all, I, I know three, uh, that's, uh, that's Quok. Other guy is Carl, he's also doing the workshop. And then the, the other guy is just random dude at a bar. We all just went to have a, we took your advice and we went out and just have a beer last night and just took photos in and around the bar. So yeah, it's just portraits of your friends basically at this point, right? Yeah. That's okay. I mean, Sally Mann just photographed your kids in the backyard. I mean, you don't need some epic topic. So you're saying the kitchen sink. So right. you need to just kitchen sink. Kitchen sink. Either one of those is coming out. I think it's the last one. Yeah, which one of these? Yeah, we're keeping that one. Yeah. We're getting rid of that one. So the first right. one we're keeping. This one. That's yeah. really good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, if you just had a, if you had Provincetown portraits, and they're on this level, then that's good enough. You don't need to say everything about everything about everything. I could do that, Provincetown portraits. Sure. But now I'm confused what we got left over here. <laughs> we have this one? Uh-huh. This one? Uh-huh. That one? Uh-huh. It's good. Not that one. Okay, I'll put that one out. Not that one. That one, Keith. Okay, that's a Yeah, and uh, come up with some provocative uh, title. Mm. Uh, by the way, coming up with a really good title really, really, really helps. You know, once Bruce Davidson came up with East 100th Street, he had something. Otherwise, it would be Harlem. And once I got Divided Soul, I had it made too. Once I got Divided Soul, which I read by reading the Spanish writer, Camilo Sela, I knew I had it. So, so the title is really good. I, uh, I, I, well, I had a question. Um, how does a photographer make a title without making it sound too cheesy or corny? Because I think that's my problem is whenever I try to make a, a title, it sounds too pretentious or like cheesy. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like cheesy pictures. You'll just, you'll know, you know. I would make the, the guy with the tattoo, I would make that picture a little darker to match the other ones if you can. Okay, process a bit darker. Process yeah. it down a little bit. Yeah, okay. It's good like it is. You yeah. want to get a color palette going. You want to get a palette going when you're in black and white or color. Yeah. And this one just, if you bring it down to this level. Yeah, I could just make it a bit darker. Level, it'll be better, I think. Yeah, okay. Yeah, bring it down to that level. Okay. Okay, cool. All right. And. Coming up with uh, uh, a good title, I can't think of a good title right now. I, I usually get my titles by reading books hmm. and writing keywords down on a piece of paper. You know, when I was doing Divided Soul, I was out one day with a bottle of wine out in the middle of nowhere and I just got a piece of paper and I wrote down passion, blood, military, Catholicism, machismo. I just wrote down basically keywords for the culture 
put them up here in my hard drive, and then you draw upon them. It's not like you make go down the list, but get the keywords in your hard drive up here in your brain, and then you kind of know it when you see it. It's not a linear process. So again, that's when you're working with the uh, on the right side of your brain, mixed with a little bit of left side stuff, but mostly right side. Do you like my suits title for my suits project? Do you think suits. that's simple? So it's a suit. Yeah. Suits. Yeah. Yeah. Anne had a question. I'm sorry. Suits question? is good. Yeah. Can oh, we can 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 all can be copy the letters suits. on the book. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. No, suits. suits was good. Okay. Suits. Yeah. Everybody gets it. Mm. I mean, when I talked to you, I knew about your background as a former suit. Yep. Good reason to have it. So suits is good. You should stick with the suits project. Don't mm. drop that one. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, but do, but actually finish it. See if you can finish that because okay. that would be good. Suits, right. I told you in, in uh, Dubai, yeah. uh, is a really good uh, book project. And Suits uh -huh. mm. is so fucking simple. Suits. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. other beauty of Suits is that they're everywhere. Yep, yep. You can be any place. So that's a brilliant idea for just shooting whatever mm. part of the world you happen to be in because there's suits mm. just about everywhere. Uh, how many images do you think I should shoot for? I think I have around like 12 that I'm happy with at the moment. Well, if you're going to do a book, you need 30 to 60. Somewhere in between that. You do a zine on suits. Yeah, so you need 50 really good pictures. Okay. It's always hard to get past 10, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm at 12, so I'm, I'm in good company. Well, what happens, you get 10, and then it's really hard to get number 11, because once you have 10 good ones, then you get 11, but then that might replace one of the other ones. Yeah. The first 10 are easy, the last 40 are hard. Mm. Really, really hard to get that last batch. Because then you're competing with yourself. And the other thing is, uh, just because you've got a lot of good pictures, don't necessarily think of it as a book. It won't fly. Maybe yeah. 10 years ago you could, but now it's got to be really, really, really sophisticated. So this is Anne.